In this AI SEO review video, I'm going to be giving you all the information you need if AI SEO copywriting tool is for you. Now, I'm not going to be going through every single feature AI SEO has to offer because at the end of the day, we don't need every single feature they offer. We only need a few really good SEO tools in order to accomplish our desired results. So I'm going to go ahead and create a blog just like I would with any of my ventures using AI SEO because this is a true test on whether or not AI SEO actually does what it says. Let me tell you a little bit more about AI SEO. AI SEO is a writing assistant to help create, optimize and rewrite content posts for you, resulting in 10x more efficiency. AI SEO's writing assistant lets you generate an SEO optimized blog post with a couple of clicks. The long form assistant generates a paragraph with just one click, which makes your workflow amazingly fast. AI SEO's assistant also improves the readability of your blog with one click according to Hemingway style and the writing assistant lets you optimize, improve and rewrite, summarize blog posts all in one place. From the upload of this video, there are two places you can purchase AI SEO. The first place is AppSumo, which will give you the lifetime deal. And the second place is on AI SEO's website. And I will leave both links below for you to decide which one you want. However, I would recommend actually purchasing it directly from AI SEO's website because then you're not capped with credits. But let's quickly jump over to both these pages and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Here we are on AppSumo and you can see you can get this lifetime deal for $39. And here's the list of all the features that you'll get. However, one purchase of $39 will give you 250 credits per month. And if you purchase an additional code, it will give you 500 credits per month. Now, although that's actually not too shabby, you will very quickly burn through these credits. Now, again, I'll go ahead and leave a link below for you to check out this offer page but let's jump over to AI SEO's pricing page and just have a look at what they offer. Here we are on AI SEO's pricing page and they offer three plans. You've got the free plan which will give you a trial so again I'll leave a link below so you can grab that but ultimately the best plan you can actually have is the growth plan because that gives you unlimited credits and that's $39 a month. Now you may be thinking, well, the lifetime offer is $39, but the reality of it is that if you burn through those credits within the first month, then you're gonna have to wait until the second month. So even if you weren't to go for the $39 a month plan, the $19 a month, which will give you 400 credits, is still a much better deal than the lifetime offer. Now I'm not saying AppSumo's pricing is bad, I'm just saying that if you're a serious copywriter, you're gonna burn through those credits. So taking up the growth plan on the actual AI SEO pricing page is going to give you much more value for your money. Now, there's something I've not yet said in this video, which really cannot wait any longer. I'm gonna need you to like this video and subscribe to my channel because when you do this, it lets me know that you're enjoying my content, which in turn makes me keep on going. Let's go ahead and explore the dashboard. So on the top here, you've got the opportunity to earn free credits. And here it will tell you how many credits you have depending on the plan that you've taken out. On the left, you have your main menu, which is generate, saved, account, help, promo code, and lifetime deal add-on. And right in front of you, you have your main tools. So you've got the long form assistant, which is where we're going to be doing the bulk sum of everything because in here, you, it actually covers these two templates as well. Then you've got copywriting templates, readability improver, blog post creation, which is coming soon, and then content power phraser. So before we jump into long form assistant, let's quickly cover all of these other posts as well. So copywriting templates will display the whole list of templates that you can start using. And these templates are basically frameworks for each of these styles. Next, you've got readability improver. This is where you would paste in text and it will tell you how hard or easy the text is to understand. And then you've got content power Phraser, which you can paste in any sort of text in this box and it will translate it here. And finally, let's jump into long form assistant. You're going to have two options start from scratch or blog post workflow. I'm going to go ahead and do start from scratch. Now, because AI SEO focuses on SEO as well as content writing, it's going to ask you a few questions about what your blog post is going to be about. I'm going to type in how to train a dog to sit. My location is English. And then do create new SEO document. Let's explore this dashboard here. 
So at the very bottom, you can see it's going to tell you how many headings you have, the word count and suggested word counts as we go on, the readability grade. So this is going to tell you old or what year in school your text is reading as. And then right next to it, you also have the write with AI button, which uses the AI feature to actually write the text for you. On the right, you have your general information. And further to the right, this is where you can generate outlines, SERP options, questions, bullets to paragraphs and templates and they've also got a cool add custom template field so if you are constantly writing in a specific format you can actually put in all of the information that you would usually use over and over and it will start generating it according to that you've also got a tutorial which connects you to youtube and will give you a five minute video going through that and then on your left you have your main editor area this is kind of like the document and and if you double click over the text, it will show all of these options where you can convert it into bullet points, add links, add markers, etc. You can also add sections as well by just hovering over somewhere on the page and then the two little options that will show up. You've got the plus sign, which again, just gives you more layout options like tables, etc. And then on the right, this will allow you to move paragraphs and sections below or above other paragraphs and sections. Okay, so in the meta description, I'm going to go ahead and just type in, well, how to train a dog to sit, and then I'm going to do save, so it updates the document, and I'm gonna click generate info. Start off, I'm absolutely gobsmacked at the quality of this. I don't usually do this mid, but let me read this out to you. Trying to teach your dog to sit, follow these steps, and soon you'll be able to teach your dog in a simple and effective way that will work with all dogs, not just Susie. Of course, you gotta apply the 80-20 rule, which is 80% of the work is done by the software, and then 20% is you tweaking it that's actually a fantastic start so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click the write with ai uh, button and see what it continues with from this part continued with these step instructions and and ultimately that's actually it but we're gonna continue we're gonna we're gonna fill out this blog post and let me just clean this up a little bit really happy with the way this is going and if you notice at the bottom it's now saying that we've done 234 words and it's being written in a sixth grade criteria at the moment so let's head over to the right and click on outline and i'm going to do outlines and click generate outline it's come out with all of these outlines that now i'm actually going to put in because the majority of them are are worth it so let's add it into the document and you can do this in two ways you can click the add button or you can click the copy button we've now added the titles and they fit in really nicely so the first title title is getting started teaching your dog how to train a dog to sit how to monitor your dog's progress how to reward your dog and how to start over if your dog hasn't learned how to sit now the reason we're adding these titles in now because we're going to start filling in and talking about these titles but really we're going to want the software to do that for us a lot of you maybe curious what the SERP outlines is well this is really for SEO but they've not yet incorporated it this is still a pretty new software under each one of these I'm gonna go ahead and go into the template section and where it says paragraph long answer I'm going to click that and I'm going to copy this title paste it in and put a question there and then click generate now for some reason that didn't create a long paragraph for me However, it did start a good intro to this section. So instead of re-clicking uh, generate here, I'm going to click write with AI and see if that has a better impact. Okay, it seemed that did a much better job, but perhaps it was the way this has been phrased. However, let's uh, retry the paragraph long answer with this next section, paste it in and do generate. Back into templates, because it's given me a bit of a idea. Under the question answers, I'm going to select that, and I'm going to type in list of dog rewards for training. And there we have it, it's created a list. Let's now move on to this section, and instead of pulling it into the template section, I wanna see how the write with AI handles this. So I'm just gonna click write with AI. So that's actually created a really nice paragraph, a really nice few paragraphs there. I'm going to direct it, by just pulling a sentence in so it can finish it off and, and get more onto the um, hardcore answering 
because what it's created there, it's created something really engaging, something that's going to hook the reader, but it's not finished it off and perhaps it just needs a bit of direction from me. So all I've put in is if you need to restart your dog training, here's how to do it. And then I'm hoping that the information above is going to take that and understand what's happening. So I can see why it produced this new content, but it's not really what we're after. I'm going to actually rephrase my sentence. So I've just put, here is how you can start your dog training all over again. Now on the right path, and um, I just deleted some because it wasn't quite there. And now I'm just going to let the AI try its thing because these two paragraphs here are really good. Okay, so that's actually much better. Um, and again, I really like the fact that it puts it in a listicle uh, format, like step one, step two, etc. So uh, let me just clean this up. One of the last things I want to do is actually add an FAQ area. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the FAQ ideas. And this is normally for businesses, but I'm going to try and see if it will create a list of questions people might ask. So how to train a dog to sit. So actually, this is really good. I'm going to just change this to heading. Each of these questions, I'm actually going to paste it into the featured snippet list. And for those of you who don't know what the featured snippet list is, this is the featured snippet list. So if you get into these sections, you can be getting a ton of traffic to your site. So it's really good that they incorporate that, but let's see just how effective it actually is. Okay, and now can I train sit command? I'm gonna paste that in and do generate. Okay, so that was actually a really nice and smooth experience here. And finally, we wanna summarize it. And we're gonna do that at a summary area. And then I'm going to just see if the AI will display, will, if I give the AI a starting ground, if it will, it will finish the sentence off for me. So in this blog, we've spoken about, and then we're just gonna do right with AI. Okay, well that, that's next level. Okay, so uh, this is what it's just done. In this blog we've spoken about, now we'll just tidy that up. So that's actually not bad at all. Basically finish this blog post. As you can see, we have, we've got eight headings. It's suggesting seven to nine. Our word count is 800 to 1000. Uh, we've got 1062 and the reading grade is at second grader. And we've used roundabout 30 credits. Now, actually, uh, I just did the SERP sections option, which I'm going to show you in a second. Uh, so actually, to create this whole blog was 216. And because I just clicked the SERP options, it took away 10 credits. So let's go into the SERP sections. And what you can see here is it's taken other blog posts, which are all about what we've written. It can give you inspiration, but also let's just say we wanted to add another section like write this for me what it's done is it's taken this information and rewritten it right here and as you can see i didn't include what you need and actually yeah that, that's a really good that's a really good idea to put in it so now you can actually build out your entire blog not even by writing but by just by using this feature and copying it in so what are my thoughts of ai seo especially using it for the first time and going through it as a pretty new user truthfully and i'm so happy i can say this i actually thought the quality of the outputs were pretty on par like they were actually really very good um, I, ca I can't fault them back to what I said at the beginning of this video when it came to the credits as you saw I actually went through around about 30 to 40 credits doing that one blog so depending on the length of your blog post really you're going to be able to get maybe five or six pushing it at tops a month uh, using this software but if you go with the actual pricing point on from the website well you're gonna be able to write unlimited amounts so really value for money i don't think it's getting it from appsumo this time i actually think it's getting it directly from the website and again i've left my links below for you if you've enjoyed this video and you want to show your appreciation thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions whatsoever go ahead and drop them below i'll see you next time